all right so in today's session what we are going to do we are going to see that how can integration procedure used as a rest api and how can we use its post method in previous session which we have talked about around get action and today's session we are going to focus on the post action where uh, json request body as an input parameter can be given if we are using as a post action uh, this is similar for the get action so get action we were using this url format if you will go to the post action so similar kind of url format will be used we will be using cmt uh, org so velocity underscore cmt will be namespace for us type and subtype will be the integration procedure so what we are going to do we will create one dr and which will insert one of the record as input parameter provided in the json body of the post action and then we will use that dr and vip and then test that entire integration procedure using the workbench provided by the input which we are doing in the post call so let's go to our org this is our org this is the older one so we will go again create a new IP for REST API call demo REST API this VIP will be used and used as post call we'll save it okay so what we are going to do uh, we will take data adapter post action and we will use one of the response section <coughs> in data adapter post action what we are going to do there is one data adapter which i have created as a create case so we will check that create case data adapter first what it does uh, with this uh, input parameters context id origin and subject it creates one of the case record and it gives you the outcome so we can see demo we can just test it demo by dr and this is the context id which is coming as input to the contact id we'll execute it it will create one of the case we will see case has been created using the tab now what we are going to do we will take the similar input we will pass on those input using our id so we'll check demo test by ip uh, if you see right now i need to provide a response action welcome to the response i will come as a response and provide a output now let's see what it's happening see it's again it has created one of the record so if we'll come here we will refresh it see this is created so now this has been created by ip now this what we will going to do we will activate this uh, vip activate the version we will take the subtype copy it we will go to our workbench and we will provide our path so if you see right now what i have done it this is our path post rest is pi and context id now test from workbench for the rest api demo 
this is the subject which we are providing i am executing so this is my post method uh, what i am going to do in workbench using workbench uh, let's see we execute it shift create so it must create one record here if i refresh it so it has been created so if you see right now what we have done it we have exposed one of the integration procedure and integration procedure can be used uh, by an external system to post a request to our Salesforce and this will be very handy uh, 